So today I talk about a U0107 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0107 code? Well, it's a lost communication with throttle actuator control module. And what does this mean? Well, basically fuel injected engines have a throttle body. And this is where all the air goes into the engine. And there's a small plate that opens or shuts to regulate how much air can go into the engine. When throttle bodies were first introduced, there used to be a cable that went to the gas pedal and, and when the gas pedal was pressed, it opened up that plate and this would allow more air to go into the engine. But inside of many vehicles now, they got rid of that cable and basically there's a sensor down on the gas pedal and when it's pressed, it's sending this information to the throttle actuator control module, which along with the PCM or ECM is controlling a small motor that opens or closes that butterfly plate, basically replacing that cable that the older system had. But when you get a U0107 code, for some reason, the main computer, which could be a powertrain control module or engine control module, is not able to communicate with it. And so the PCM or ECM is sending out this U0107 code, and it's going to need to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes of a U0107 code? Well, the first thing to do whenever you're getting any kind of computer related codes is be sure that the battery is good and that the alternator is charging correctly it's because all these computer modules, they all need a good stable power supply or could throw them off and cause them to do weird things. So first thing to do is be sure that there's no battery problems and there's no charging issues going on. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going on or a blowing fuse going to that throttle actuator control module. And this is going to include the wires that run down to like the pedal which is going to be up underneath the dashboard. There's going to be wires running from here up to that control module. It can also be the wires running up to the throttle body, like the throttle position sensor, or the wires running back to the main computer, the engine control module, or the powertrain control module. Also keep in mind that a blown fuse can cause issues. Quite often if there is a blown fuse, then there's also some kind of wiring problem. But be sure you don't have no blown fuses, because the next thing that could cause this is a wiring issue or a blown fuse. The last thing on this is going to be a bad throttle actuator control module. It might have just failed and just gone bad and just need to be replaced. One thing that happens with these sometimes is that they need a good ground. And if they don't have a good ground wire, then it could throw them off. So if you have like a jumper wire or something like that, you can jumper to it and then jumper to a good ground and just see if the problem clears. Another thing that can happen with these sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, is that when they go bad, they actually get burnt components on the board. Some of the components inside there can actually get burnt. And when that happens, you'll be able to smell it. So if you can smell around it and you smell anything burnt, then you know it's gone bad and needs to be replaced. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad throttle actuator control module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0107 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.